All right, this is from AmazingAvenue.com. We talked about uh, them, but not in a while. But they're putting out their top 25 Mets prospects for 2024. Uh, and that's number 25 is Nolan McLean. Now, before we get into this video, hit the subscribe button. As I record this video, the channel only needs 62 subs to get to 1,000. I need you to spread this out. I need you to share it. I need you to sub to it if you've never subbed to this channel before. And this is them kicking off our annual list as an intriguing two-way player. Nolan McLean was a two-sport star at Garner High School in Garner, North Carolina, dominating on the baseball diamond and on the football gridiron. As a football player, he led it three years and threw for 6,809 6, yards and 62 touchdowns. He led it for three years in baseball and had a cumulative 381 and 53 games and 11 doubles, zero triples, 12 homers, Seven stolen bases and eight attempts and 64 walks to 28 strikeouts. McLean also spent considerable time in the mound and posted a cumulative 2.05 ERA and 54 and two-thirds innings over 26 games with 38 hits allowed, 25 walks and 88 strikeouts. He did not play much in his senior year due to the cancellation of the baseball season due to the COVID-19 lockout, but would have likely been drafted by a major league team if he had, been, had signaled willing, his willingness to sign. Instead, he signaled that he was going to honor his commitment to Oklahoma, Oklahoma State University and went undrafted. Part of McLean's interest in going to college was the ability to start the OSU Cowboys as their quarterback. That fall, he joined the OSU football team as a walk-on quarterback, but, not, but did not appear in a game for them. In the spring, he appeared in 39 games with the Cowboys, missing some time from a back injury and hit 263 with 10 doubles, one triple, Eight home runs, one stone base, and 27 walks to 50 strikeouts. In addition, he appeared in a pair of games on the mound, giving up four earned runs and, four, and two innings, with two hits allowed, four hit walks, and three strikeouts. That summer, he played for the Chatham Anglers in the Cape Cod Baseball League and a 261 in eight games with two home runs, zero stone bases, and nine walks, 12 strikeouts. That fall, when he returned to Oklahoma State University, decided to hang up his football pads for good. A draft-eligible sophomore due to his age, he decided to focus on baseball to give himself the best opportunity to go pro. McLean's new focus on baseball paid off as he excels as a hitter, while also getting the opportunity to show off his ability to pitch, splitting time between second and third base, spending most of his time at third. He hit 285 with 16 doubles, one triple, 19 home runs, Two stone bases and four attempts and 37 walks to 107 strikeouts. On the mound, he appeared in 22 games and posted a 4.970 ERA in 25 and a third innings with 20 hits allowed, 13 walks, and 39 strikeouts. The Baltimore Orioles liked what they saw and selected him with their third round pick in the 2022 MLB draft, a first overall pick, designated him as a pitcher. Two sides were unable to come to an agreement at the Baltimore saw some post-draft physical results they were unhappy with. And McLean ended up being the highest selected played in the 2022 MLB draft to go on sign. And one of two third round selections to not sign with a team along with New York Mets third round pick, Brandon Sprout. McLean returned to Oklahoma State University for his junior year. His prime defensive position moved from the infield to the outfield. He played, he appeared in 43 games, missing, an, missing time in April after crashing into the wall, attempted to make a play. And injuring his MCL and hit 250 with six doubles, one triple, nine home runs, and 27 walks to, to 57 strikeouts. On the mound, he appeared in 14 games, making three starts late in the season, and posted a 3.30 ERA in 30 innings. The Mets selected him in the 2023 MLB draft with their third round selection, the 91st pick overall, and the two sides agreed to a $747,000 signing bonus, exactly the MLB assigned slot value. As opposed to the Orioles, the Mets designated the two-way player third baseman when drafting him. McLean split the, split the rest of the summer with the, with the Florida Coast League Mets and the St. Lucie Mets, appearing in eight total games as a hitter and two as a pitcher. At the plate, McLean has a physical presence standing 6'4", 215 pounds. He stands slightly open, holding his hands high and his bat angled up at 2, two o'clock. He sn swings with a slight toe tap and very little load or weight transfer. His right-handed stroke is smooth through the zone and has a bit of a loft. He has above-average raw power, generating power through exceptional upper body strength 
and while getting exit velocities over 110 miles per hour. But as demonstrated contact issues throughout his collegiate career, registering just a 55% contact rate in 2023. And similar low numbers in his freshman and sophomore seasons as well. He set the NCAA Division I record for strikeouts in his sophomore year. In fact, missing 44% of his pitches that he swung at. And his limited time as a professional, that trend continued. In his five games with the St. Lucie Mets, McLean had a 41% swing rate, swing and miss rate against fastballs, and 55% swing and miss rate against all other secondary pitches. Defensively, he has more time logged at third base than anywhere else on the diamond. A below average runner with a thick body is not particularly rangy at the top corner, nor does he have much quick twitch muscle explosiveness, but does have above average arm in terms of strength and accuracy. In the outfield, he has below average range, but can improve with more refinements to his ability to read the ball off the bat and learning more efficient routes to take to the ball. On the mound, McLean throws from the eight th- three quarters arm slot with a simple, repeatable delivery. His fastball sits in the mid to upper 90s, averaging 95 miles per hour, and topping out at 98 miles per hour with a bit of an arm side run and heavy sink. It is easy, effortless velocity out of his hand. McLean really leans on on of the pitch. He complements it with a slider that sits in the mid to high 80s, a cutter that sits in the higher high 80s to low 90s, a curl ball that sits in the low the high 70s to low 80s, and a high 70s to low 80s changeup. This slider and curveball has spin rates that regularly register over 3,000 RPMs, and his cutter regularly registers spin rates approaching that, but his control and command of all needs work. His changeup is rarely used, but has generally been reserved as a change of pace, get me over pitch, sneak one by batters who are not expecting it, and are instead expecting the right hand to attempt to blow something by them. Well, that's what they're saying on Amazing Am. They do a great job. They really dig into this. And if you want to learn everything that you can about the Mets prospects, Mets minor leaguers, minor league minor trades the Mets make, front office moves they make, this is the channel you need to subscribe to. Like I said, as I record this video, this channel needs 62 subs to hit 1,000. I need your help to get there, and I know you'll do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.